This week we're talking about the value of women. And when I say that, I can't help but think of the many ways women are blatantly marginalized around the world. Globally, we see it everywhere, and it's in front of us. Uh, For example, in India, young girls are forced to marry men twice their age who they've never met. In West Africa, where I've lived, girls are still forced to go through female circumcision. In Saudi Arabia, women are banned from driving. In Afghanistan, women are beat if they don't wear the haunting burqa that covers their faces. We need to be a voice to speak up against these things, especially as followers of Jesus Christ. I think of Malayla when I say that. Malayla is from Pakistan. She lives in the Swat Valley. And not long ago, the Taliban took control and they banned young girls from getting an education. So Malayla, at 11 years old, went to Peshawar, her region's capital, and she gives this fiery speech. She says this, the title of her speech is, How Dare the Taliban Take Away My Basic Right to Education? The Taliban did not like her speech, so less than two weeks later, Taliban gunmen stopped her bus, dragged her out, shot her in the head to kill her. But she lived. And it gave her only a larger platform and and a louder voice, and she was given the Nobel Peace Prize. And you and I need to become a voice like that, because if women are being pushed down, it's time for us to end it. Nicholas Kristof and his wife, Cheryl Wudun, have written the most stunning book titled Half the Sky. And, And they talk about the need for all of us to end the oppression of women everywhere. I want to end by reading just one short paragraph from Half the Sky. And they write this, The tide of history is turning, women from beast of burden and sexual playthings to full-fledged human beings. Before long, we will consider sex slavery, honor killings, and acid attacks as unfathomable as foot bindings. The question is, how long will that transformation take? And how many girls will be kidnapped into brothels before it is complete? And whether each of us will be part of that historical movement or whether you will be a bystander? That's my question and challenge to you.